All right, we've gone through a few videos now talking about SN1 and SN2 reactions. And it's probably worthwhile just to take a short break and look at the main factors that distinguish the SN1 and the SN2. So just we're gonna, in this video is gonna be fairly short. We're just gonna compare the SN1 and the SN2 reactions. And there's really a few major factors to consider. So first of all, let's think about what the stereochemistry stereochemistry of the SN1. So let's have the SN1 and the SN2. So the stereochemistry of the SN1 reaction and the stereochemistry of the SN2 reaction. What else is different about, okay, so let's actually just go through that first. So in the SN1 reaction, we have a mixture of retention. So we have retention of stereochemistry and inversion. Sometimes you'll see that written as racemization. In other words, going from one pure enantiomer to a mixture of two enantiomers. So a, you could describe it as either a retention of configuration, a mixture of retention and inversion, or a racemization of, of the substrate. In the SN2 reaction, you just have pure inversion. Okay, so if you have a stereocenter present, and this really only applies when you have a stereocenter present, you can have, um, you will only, always have an inversion of stereochemistry with an SN2 reaction. All right, so then let's think about what is the rate law for each of these reactions. So are they unimolecular or bimolecular? So is there one molecule in the rate determining step or is there two? Well, the SN1 actually gets its name, and actually the number from, not its name, its number, from the fact that it is a unimolecular, unimolecular reaction. So it only depends on the concentration of the substrate. So it only depends on the concentration of the substrate. So the alkyl halide, in other words. And the SN2, it is what we call bimolecular. So it depends on substrate and the nucleophile. So it depends on both. All right, so that's where the two comes from in the SN2 is that it's a bimolecular reaction. Okay, and then let's think about the rate trend uh, rate trend for substrates. So we think about our substrates or alkyl halides, remember primary, secondary, tertiary, that's what we're talking about here. So the SN1 is fastest for tertiary, then secondary, and it's much, much, much faster for secondary than it is for primary. And then for the SN2, it's actually the opposite, right? So Primary is faster than secondary, which is much, much faster than tertiary. And actually, I left methyl out of both of these, but methyl would be slower than, than uh, primary for the SN1. It would be faster than primary for the SN2. Methyl, remember, just that's just CH3. And finally, you can kind of think of each reaction if there's just one thing to remember for each of these reactions. And I love this term, so I borrowed it. Uh, you just want to think about the big barrier for each of these reactions. If you just have to think about one thing for each of these reactions, the one big barrier for the SN1 is carbocation stability. Carbocation stability. So that's why it's tertiary is faster than secondary is faster than primary because tertiary carbocations, which are being formed in this first step, are more stable. And in the SN2, the big barrier is what we call steric hindrance. So the nucleophile has to do a backside attack on our substrate. And the more groups that are present there, the more it's going to have a difficult time uh, attacking that uh, empty antibonding orbital. So the, the more bulky the groups are, the slower the reaction will be. That's why primary is faster than secondary, which is way faster than tertiary. Okay, so like I said, didn't want this to be a long video, just, to, um, just a table that compares and contrasts the important features in the SN1 and the SN2 reactions.
So in subsequent videos, we'll go into next video. Actually, we'll talk a little bit about the role of solvents in each of these reactions, and then uh, later on talk about how to distinguish conditions where SN1 and SN2 reactions might take place.